Okay, today we're going to go over exercise number three of what is kind of considered the barbell trinity, which is squat, bench press, and now we're talking about deadlift. All right, deadlift is the most functional of the three. By that, we mean it mimics what we do in real life. So in real life, we don't usually have to lay down on our back and push something. We don't usually put something on our shoulders and squat down and stand back up. But all the time in real life, we bend down, unload it, grab something, and pick it up. Whether it's a laundry basket, a dog, a kid, a couch, whatever it is. Deadlift is going to do an awesome job hitting our posterior chain. And the posterior chain, like squats, is very important in running, and jumping, and building power. So for most, for most athletes, it's pretty explosive. Almost everyone will do more weight on the deadlift than any other free weight exercise in the gym. Okay, so most people can deadlift more than they can squat, and certainly deadlift more than they can bench press. So rather than a leg press, which is a machine, you'll be able to go pretty heavy on you. That doesn't mean you run up and rush into the heavy weight. Because it's a bigger exercise, it's very important to make sure that your form is really good, and that core particularly tight. You can hurt yourself, like with any lift, if you don't do it properly. So it's much better to learn the form, take the time, and then add weight, and just try to see what you can do until that form is set up. All right, if we get through the technical stuff, the agonist in the deadlift is your erectors, very strong synergist is gonna be your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, also, your traps and your forearms are working a lot at the same time, so you can hold on to it. So you can tell it's really hitting a lot of exercises, so it's a big bang for the buck exercise. There's a bunch of different styles. Today we're going over what's called the conventional deadlift. Conventional means your hands are outside your legs, and you're just going to bend down and pick something up. Usually in everyday world, this is the way we would pick up most things. we will go over each style. Uh, deadlift is a little lower skill than a squat, so it usually doesn't take quite as long to learn. People can do it, usually do it a little bit easier right off the bat, um, and you don't have to do it as often. Squats you really need to practice. Deadlift is not a high frequency lift, so once or twice a week is fine. All right. A couple of points if you're going to instruct them, instruct someone else to do it. Number one, do not set an empty bar on the floor. Right? That is way too low. If somebody has to come up. Grab this, almost no one can keep good form with that. So we need to elevate. Now the nice thing about the plates is they elevate it, but that might be too heavy for somebody starting off. Okay? So what you can do, most gyms will have a setup like this, where you can set an empty bar that's on the bottom of the power rack or on the first pin, and now it's elevated and you're ready to go. Okay, but do not set the weight on the floor. That's not what you're Don't over cue the deadlift. In my experience, most people have kind of a natural movement pattern. And so all we gotta do is just give them a couple of cues, a couple of quick tip, tip hints, and they'll be able to do it. One of those is we want to be in jumping position. That's your main power position. So if you just tell someone, hey, take a step, give me a jump, also where you would land, that's generally your deadlift stance. It's not wide, it's not like a squat. Okay, a squat is gonna be more power position out here, deadlift is gonna be much narrower. So what we want to do is we want to get very close to the bar. So walk up to the bar so that it's almost touching your shins. Your toes should be out slightly, 10 degrees, based on your own individual variation. Okay. Our hands are going to be outside our legs. We do not want to take a very wide grip. The wider grip, the harder it is to do the exercise. You just want your arms to hang down. You are going to want to hold on to the grip though if you're trying to grab the smooth bar before you fall out of your hands. Okay. So we get in pretty close. I like to tell people to kind of pump up their chest a little bit, shoulders back in that kind of stand tall position, and we're gonna to try to maintain this. From here, we're gonna bend at the hip, reach down, get ready to grab the bar. Once we grab it, we're gonna just generate a little bit of tension to make sure that our body's tight, and we're simply just gonna stand up with it. We don't have to exaggerate anything, we don't need to shrug it, we don't need to go super far back or roll our shoulders. You just wanna stand until you're straight, Legs straight, upper body, and legs straight line. One of the coolest things about the deadlift is when you lock it out, there's a distinct feeling of, okay, it's locked out, and I did it. It's so unlike the squat, where you're not sure if you went low enough. Deadlift, okay, I'm at the top, and I can hold it for a while. Okay? So you simply walk up to the bar, power stance, chest up, shoulders down and back. Slot down a little bit to the bar without super low hips. Get a nice tight grip. Take some breath in. Pick it up. When you're going to descend, now we push our hips back. When the bar clears our knees, we let our knees bend. Soft touch, right back up. Down, boom. 
generally look straight ahead. Some people like to look down. I don't recommend that with heavy weight. Really look straight ahead or look up a little bit. So hips back, soft touch. The bar will literally go against your shins or very close to it. Again, we don't have to shrug it. We don't want to bend so far back. Our knees get soft. Just standing up tight. Right. You may have noticed that I put a few mats down on the ground. If you're in a gym like this one, which is a little more sensitive to like making noise and stuff like that with the weights, um, this could be a good job of deadening that noise and it doesn't, it doesn't raise it up enough to really get it out a lot. If you do it on a power rack, don't slam the bar into the weight. And you don't have to use a power rack. You can use an aerobic step to raise it up. Just put a, a stepper on either side. Okay, that works real well. Sometimes you can use little stretching blocks to raise it up. Again, don't expect someone to go off like this. And last thing, do we spot the deadlift? No spot on the deadlift, right? The person's not in any danger. They're not going to get crushed. So you can cue them, you're cheering them on, but if their form breaks down or anything, you just say, set it down. Don't come up and try to hug me. Don't grab me by my chin. Don't lay under me and try to bench it. Okay, that's not how we spot. So there's, that's the big lift that there is no spot. Okay, the movement here, threefold. When I'm down like this and I stand up, trunk extension, this is my trunk. I'm also hip extension, moving my femur backwards, and knee extension. So it's triple extension, compound lift. Similar to a squat, but the biggest mistake people try to make when they're new is you do not squat a deadlift. So I don't need to bend down all the way like this. All right? It's very rare that someone's hips will be more than, say, 45 degrees bent. So don't try to squat and keep the bar in close. So that's a conventional deadlift. If you're gonna do squats and deadlifts on the same day, squat first, that's the joke. Questions?